Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing retirement in Thailand and YouTubing. I made another video contemporaneously with this one where we got into the issue of whether or not content creation is work in Thailand. As we discussed in that video, sort of the legal definition of work in Thailand is very, very broad. Similar analysis in this vein, again, I look at the retirees as a little bit different because I know there's a lot of channels, especially of guys up country, who just sort of make almost like a video blog of their life and just sort of talk about stuff that they're doing. And I'm hard pressed to look at that and say they're working. Now, as we discussed in the video regarding is content creation work, compensation gets is a big factor. If you're being paid, if you're monetized, as they say in the ether of the internet these days, I think you're, you're on a bad track there. And I think you are opening yourself up to the real possibility of having serious work per permit violations and possible tax implications that could cause you a lot of problems down the road, especially if you're in Thailand on a retirement visa, standard retirement visa, which is not work authorized. So again, starting from that standpoint, the, you need to understand that there are work permit violation implications to certain YouTubing activities in Thailand. Now, as we discussed also in that video, those who do this basically, not basically, but sincerely as a hobby, they're, they're engaging in YouTubing, content creation, whatever, as a hobby, and they're on a retirement visa in Thailand, that may be a slightly different analysis. Now, as we discussed in other videos, again, the legal definition of work is very, very broad. You know, I mean, you could make an argument that like breathing or taking a step could arguably be considered work under this very broad definition of what work constitutes. I mean, it literally, if I recall reading about that, and I, we did the videos already, but I, I think any kind of expensive effort could be deemed to be work here in Thailand. So again, it's something to be concerned about when you are when you're doing this analysis, but I think you have to look into yourself and really be honest with yourself. Is what you're doing truly a hobby or are you really working? And you know, you do know if if it's one thing or the other. It's really not all that nebulous, I don't think anymore, especially in this era of pretty rapid and, and pretty widespread monetization of many channels and many content creators out there. So again, compensation changes the analysis. If it really is a hobby, fair enough. Again, you could still get in trouble for it because, or you could have issues with it, trouble might be the too strong word, but you could have issues involving scrutiny of it because again, the very broad legal definition of work here in Thailand, but long story short, at the end of the day, I think most people know deep down whether or not what they're doing really does constitute work on a retirement visa here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 